I don't know, man. I, just, I think he's the heartbeat of this team. Obviously, you know, he's an anime guy, so he holds a special place in my heart. It makes you want to be a fan of the Lions because of that kind of personality. You know he's a real dude. Like, you look at him, you listen to him talk, you hear him speak, you see how he acts. Like, that man's real. That he, he is Jamal Williams 100% of the time. Just like he's going to spread them cheeks week one and take it to him. Let's go! <laughs> talk about the positivity, man. Because I, I was at training camp today. And I noticed something, even before training camp today. Yeah. I had, had a little bit of assessment, and maybe it's like a little bit of a, like a hot, I don't know, I don't think it's a high, big of a hot take. I wrote some of the prep today, I said, Jamal Williams is the heart of this football team. Yeah. Initial reaction. No, it makes sense. He's the emotional leader. You, you see how he is, not only... With the um, with the public, with the fans doing different things like that. Obviously, you know he's an anime guy, so he holds a special special place in my heart. Nerds. But uh, no, he's he's a really happy guy. Always seems to be ready to show up, to go to work. Always has a smile on his face. Always doing things like that. And you need guys like that in, in your locker room. You need guys that are going to make the other people be happy to show up to work on time. And we saw it with that first hard knocks. Um, Hard Knocks little snippet, the preview. He's giving that speech in the huddle. He's the guy talking to the teams. He's getting everybody hyped up. He says, we yeah. are the Lions. You're going to have to come in there. You're going to lock the door I with got, us. I got the quote. Yeah. You want to read it? Yeah. Should I do it in his voice? I'm yeah. not going to do it in voice. It's way too hard to read that and do it in voice. I'll, all right, I'll try my best. Every time we go into a game, we're going to lock them fucking gates and let them know you stuck with us. And we need to bury your ass. Bury your ass, I should say. I, I couldn't do that second part of his voice. But... Him, remember guys like uh, like Eagles, you know, like kind of like back in the day a little bit, like Brian Dawkins in the huddle, yeah, like hyping dudes oh, up. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying Get, getting loud, like that's like your emotional leader. I think of it almost like a Draymond Green esque, because I know he is the backup running back, so it's, it's a tough, maybe it's a tough sell for some people because he's not technically a starter, but nonetheless, he's active. I think I even look back to Game One of last year when we were getting blown out at home in the home opener against the 49ers. And guys are kind of down the dump, but Jamal Williams scored that touchdown late in the game and revived the team a little bit. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? And he's just been that. He's always been that way. You he, saw him in the, in the huddles, and then even today at practice, he, when he finishes rep, because sometimes they don't like fully, you know, I don't, I don't think they want to hurt each other, mm -hmm. but they didn't fully tackle him. But he still kept running. He ran you know, all the way until he crossed the end yeah. zone. But like right, that right there, like, that's a perfect example to set. You know what I'm saying? For like the young guys, like, I don't know, man. I, just, I think he's the heartbeat of this team. He, just, he's so joyous. He was. For, we showed the video earlier and throwing, throwing the balls to the fans. I'm sorry. No, you're good. That's, uh, he, yeah, he's like that. He's always been like that. We see that on every team he's at. And he comes from another culture. He comes from cultures of winning. Obviously, he spent a lot of time in Green Bay. That is one of, you know, as much as we all hate the Packers and their damn cheese, that is one of the winningest cultures in the NFL. That is a team that has won multiple Super Bowls. They're up there with the most victories ever, you know, with, with the Bears and stuff like that. So... It is good to see him come from that and try to instill that into these young Lions, try to show that to these young guys of what it takes to win, what it takes every day to go out there, believe in yourself, believe in this team, never give up. He takes that Dan Campbell aspect of we're falling down, but we're biting kneecaps and getting back up and puts it out there. 100%. He's got a smile on his face the whole time. He's hyping up the guys. He is. He speaks with conviction. He speaks from his heart, and the people realize that. They're drawn to it, and they respect it. 100%. And I, I look at it this way, too. He is the second string running back. But I think that makes the message even stronger at that point. Because even though you, he gets his reps, and like don't, I'm not going to you know, pretend he doesn't, but I think it sends a stronger message that, like, hey, even if you aren't getting all the love, you aren't getting all the carries, you're still showing that, you, that work ethic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're still showing that you could be a leader. You're still showing that you're striving for that. Nonetheless, at the end of the day. And every time I think about this team and, like, a lot of the sound bites, a lot of them come from Dan Campbell. But the other ones, obviously, outside the funny stuff and the anime goofy stuff that he, he does. But he also has hey, sound hey, bites chill, chill. where he's talking about winning Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the one guy saying it. And he is the guy that says the off-the-wall things. But, like, he doesn't say it in the goofy manner. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He says it in a dead-ass serious manner. I know that this guy is like genuine. Like the two things he cares about most, other than uh, probably his family, would probably be football and anime. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like he, he it's wears my type of guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he wears his heart on his sleeve with it. You know what I'm saying? He, he spreads that message, just like he's gonna spread them cheeks. Week one of the Eagles and take it to. Let's go.
<laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Jesus Christ. Up, baby. <laughs> 14 and 14 and 3. Baby. No, it's uh yeah, no, it makes you excited when you hear things like that. That is a guy that Hard Knocks is going to be drawn to, like we said. Like how can you not? How can you not, as Fish would say, be drawn to a guy like that? I mean, that? how can you not? I mean, how can you not? You, you're drawn to that type of energy. You're drawn to that type of guy who, yeah, he might say some goofy stuff sometimes, but when it comes down to it, if you're to the left or to the right of him, you know he's going to ride for you. You know he's the guy that's going to go 100%. out there. He is going to put the team on his back. He's going to make plays, and he's happy to do it. What's up, Cheese Nibs? Well, I was going to say that, like, even if you have no interest in the Lions and you're just watching Hard Knocks for Hard Knocks, you know, you're any other national fan. Jamal Williams is the guy that that energy, that charisma is oh, going to yeah. be drawn there. You're going to be like, wow, I kind of really like this guy. I want to root for him. You know, it's it's like that fun personality, the way he interacts with fans today and every day. And, I, like, all these cool videos, I think that makes him – it makes you want to be a fan of the Lions because of that kind of personality. You see this fun-loving guy at running back, and he's he's going to get some solid carries and you know snaps, especially if Swift goes down with an injury again. Whoa, chill, yeah. whoa, chill. I'm just saying, Damn, bro. Chill. I'm Don't just, put those demons on me, Ricky Bobby. You, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, if he gets the opportunity, he's a he's a really awesome guy that you want to root for. And it, it's cool sword. to see him as like an extension. Of Dan Campbell's energy, he really is. Like him and Dan Campbell had the same energy. Whatever, whatever thought pops to their head, yeah, comes out their mouth. And it's like you look at the rest of our our, our stars, the stars on the team. Mm-hmm. You know, Jared Goff, reserved guy, yeah. kind of you know, laid back guy, doesn't sure. do doesn't say much out of bounds. Same with Aiden Hutchinson, you know, kind of reserved guy, lunch pail guy, says the right things, does the right things, yes. great motor guy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> no. high, uh, motor. high motor, you know, makes the right plays. You'd love to take him home to mom. No, but uh, same with Penny Sewell. Penny Sewell, he doesn't say much in the media. Doesn't go. Tr- he he doesn't on the field. You know, he's barking yeah. in Aaron Donald's face. Say, yeah, he but good. he's 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 not going to be the guy that goes out there and says a bunch of things to the media or to the public or something like that. Even DeAndre Swift, we saw the video. We know he's got a great attitude, great personality. But again, he's not the guy that's going to make these kind of statements to the media. And then you have Jamal Williams. Yeah. Who comes in there, he's going to say whatever the hell he wants, whatever the hell he wants, and he's going to mean it. He's not just saying stuff just to say it. That's like it, it is things that he believes, things that he means, exactly. things that he wants to produce. You see it comes from the heart. You see, he's, like I said, he says it with conviction. He means these things, and that's what you, you know he's a real dude. Like, you look at him, you listen to him talk, you hear him speak, you see how he acts. Like, that man's real. He, he is Jamal Williams 100% of the time. Like, yeah. he, he's not trying to be anybody anybody else. He's not trying to conform to different things. He's going out there, being himself, playing football, and having fun doing it. 100%. <laughs> I'm Italian, man. <laughs> you ever notice pre- uh, like, you know, yeah. presents and stuff like yeah. that? Yeah. That's the Barack about, well, you know, well. we're going to come out here and we're going to have a good time. You know, we're trying to bring uh, those t- approval t- rates up. Way. Uh, you know, yeah. like, we're going to keep on chopping. We're going to chop wood. We're going to keep on getting better. We're going to be relentless. We're going to recruit relentless. That sort of thing. Well, you know, me and Barry, uh, <laughs> me, me, and, me and Joe went back there and we really cooked up what we needed to do. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm happy to be here. Big American fan of people. Jamal Williams, and I think he can do it. <laughs> uh, great runner, uh, works very hard. The, the and high up beat guy. Uh, my name is Barack Obama, and the uh, American people, we're we're gonna build something. That's racist. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, but like you said, he's a real one. So when he speaks these things, the teammates know he's, he's coming from the heart. Yeah. And he's also a lovable guy too. So it's like, yeah, I got that guy's back. And I, I, today, when I saw him finish that rep, running to the, you know, the end zone, high character guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, him being out there before everybody else on the field, you know, interacting with the fans, high character guy. Like, he's just a real dude. He wears hard on the sleeve. Like, no one's that openly nerdy about anime, uh, Spencer. Yeah. Uh, hey, man. I'm not afraid. I love anime. I'm not afraid. Nope. Don't start doing that. To take a thing. Uh, can you do any of those like little anim- anime hand gestures that no. they be doing? <laughs> no, that little. What's what's Israel's song you do? The well, yeah. You know, uh, the Death Note. But like, help me out, spin. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I meant. Not what I meant. trying to see. If, yeah. All right, well, real quick though, uh, before we go to break, if, if not Jamal Williams, who is the heartbeat of this team? Hot, hot. Topic or oh. hot potato. I know People are saying Aiden Hutchinson has been what? stepping up like that. Get out of here, bro. 
If it's not the guy we're talking about that it is, who is it? All right. Oh, what's no, your, your opinion is stupid. Your I didn't say your opinion was stupid. I you, said, what? Yes, yeah, I'm reading these things about him. Yeah, I'm reading these things about him. All of the vets are saying, yeah, he's stepping up. He's being a guy that goes out there and shows you. He's being guy. He's very cool to hang out. You know, yeah. he's, be, he's beating off in the locker room. <laughs> 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 but in the no, showers. It's, they're saying they're impressed with him, how he goes out there. Michael he leads Parsons. by example. <laughs> he, uh, he commands different things. So. I mean, I think he can be he can be a guy who can be an emotional leader on this team too. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna say Charles Harris. What? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So Thank I, you. Only because well, when you said that, the reason why I said what? Because I remember Dan Campbell like, today. He was like, uh, you know, just kind of like quiet. Like he's yeah. not like you know, he's be, he's being a rookie, but he's still putting in the work. Aaron Donald's quiet. He's more like by I don't know. I think he's pretty loud. He's he's little last he, year. Oh, you know what I'm saying? He's doing all that stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, he worked his butt off. Yeah, for sure. Know. I'm not that me saying that he's not quiet doesn't we mean he didn't work his butt we off. We really don't know what a guy's like. We're not in the locker room. You know, we can only make assumptions from what we see. For and sure. Well, we hear stuff in media yeah, too. Obviously yeah. Obviously, we can hear what people are saying, but you you never really know what who the guys are like. Okay, this is our guy. You know, sort of thing. Hey, yo, yeah, I'm just saying like a tweet from Eric Woodyard. Aiden Hutchinson's earning respect from his teammates not only with his stellar play but doing the singing thing by Michael uh, what about the leader. Billy Jean thing <laughs> Aiden Hutchinson uh, having everyone pleased the coaching staff and his teammates are showing up for a lot of respect for him uh, blah, blah, blah. If, if I wanted to get that uh, Jamal Williams haircut though I'm trying you know what I'm saying dread up my hair 